Marvel has the most successful movie franchise of all time that generated almost $30 billion. They have the highest grossing movie of all time and some movies won an Oscar. But lately, some movies were big flops and because of that, their revenue is going down. If we compare 2023 with 2019, they had a 70% decline in the box office. The production quality is becoming really bad, having horrible CGI, and they are making movies nobody is interested in watching. Today, we will explore how Marvel made the biggest movie franchise of all time and what they did to get this fall. Lastly, we will see if they can get better in the future. Marvel didn't start with movies, they started with comics. The company was started by Martin Goodman in 1939, and this was their first comics. In the first years of business, World War II started, and they saw a chance to profit. In 1942, they published their first Captain America comic. This started to attract a lot of audience, even the soldiers read them. War got them tons of profit, and the comic book industry was a rising business, so Marvel got a good start. But soon, the war was over, and people weren't interested anymore in war comics. So Marvel started to create comic books about romance, science fiction, and more to gain interest from the people. Still, it was a problem to attract people. One guy decided, what if we make the superheroes have internal struggles like normal people do, so that normal people could relate to the superheroes? Martin Goodman thought that's not a good idea, but Stan Lee decided to go with it. And so, Spider-Man, Hulk, and X-Men were born. It started to become a massive hit. At Marvel, they got an idea to create TV series and movies. See, in the comics, the characters were in the same universe, so they would interact with each other. People liked that, so Marvel decided to put that in the big screens. Marvel approached Universal and made the famous 1970s Hulk TV series. Marvel wanted to make movies, yet movie studios didn't want to do it because they thought that it would be hard to make comic book drawn characters bring to live action. When Superman was released, it earned DC $300 million and it became sixth highest grossing film at that time. This was the proof Marvel needed. Marvel wanted to make movies about Fantastic Four, Spider-Man and Punisher, yet some problems stopped that. Some of these problems were with the movie studio and some problems were with Marvel itself. See, Marvel went public and started to diversify the business by acquiring other companies which cost them around $700 million. To cover some of these expenses, they decided to raise the price of comic books. The sales dropped by 70% and their shares dropped from $35 per share to $2 per share. So Marvel officially declared bankruptcy. To get up from the failure, Marvel decided to sell licenses to their characters. Like Spider-Man to Sony, X-Men to Fox. The movies were really successful. But because of bad deals, Marvel didn't earn much profit from them. In case of Blade, the movie grossed over $130 million. Marvel only got $250,000 from that money. In 2005, Marvel decided to create its own studio. Making your own movies is really expensive, especially superhero movies. One flop and boom, you're bankrupt. They received a loan of $525 million for Merrill Lynch, an American management and investment company. The deal was that Marvel needs to create 10 films featuring one Marvel character. And if the first four flop, Mary Lynch would receive the rights to remaining six characters. But we need to pay 5% of each film they produce to Marvel. In 2008, three years after they decided to make a studio, Iron Man was released. Iron Man changed everything for Marvel. It became a global phenomenon grossing over $585 million. And more importantly, getting the attention from the guy made from Free Circles. Year after the release of Iron Man, Disney bought Marvel. Disney's acquisition of Marvel is viewed as one of the most successful business moves of all time. Since they bought Marvel, Disney released 31 films, making $29.8 billion in box office and having four movies in top 10 highest grossing movies of all time. Their movies often received an Oscar nomination, and some even won. Critics loved them, audience was glued to the seats waiting for another movie. It looked like Disney cracked the code. 
So what happened? Why are they doing so bad? In 2023, they released three movies that grossed $1.5 billion in box office. If you look at the revenue, the situation is even worse. MCU lost money in 2023. Many people contribute this to Disney's woke agenda. Since Disney started to go woke, their stock price is going down constantly. Even Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, said that they have gone too woke. But the woke agenda isn't the only thing. When Disney bought Marvel, they would release one or two movies per year. After 2016, that number became three or four. These kind of movies are really expensive to make, with just the production cost being $200 million. And there is still the cost of marketing and distribution. So they need to sell as many tickets as they can. The Avengers movie drew a huge audience and had a massive payoff in 2019 when Avengers Endgame became the highest grossing movie of all time. In that year, Endgame, together with Spider-Man, No Way Home and Captain Marvel, accumulated Marvel $5 billion in box office. But that $5 billion is not pure profit, because cinemas take a cut and the distributors too. Also for the international releases, like in Europe and China, there are different regulations, so with everything combined, Disney takes 40% of that 5 billion, which is around 2 billion. Disney can't afford too much loss, because their movies cost much money to make. For example, some sources say that they spend 140 million on making Spider-Man Homecoming. The same sources say that Disney spends 50% of the production budget on marketing. So Homecoming cost them 210 million dollars without distribution. Luckily, Homecoming made $880 million, so they are in profit. In November 2023, Marvel released The Marvels. It was the biggest flop in MCU's history, generating $47 million of revenue in box office openings. It has three protagonists, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel and Monica Rambeau. If you didn't hear about these two, that's because they only appear on WandaVision and Miss Marvel. Shows that are only on Disney+. Plus. On Disney+, Plus, you have tons of shows, and they're really diversified. For example, you have serious shows, comedic shows, shows for female audience, and so on. That's good to diversify. The problem is, you need to watch it all to understand the MCU. And that's thousands of hours of content. That's one of the reasons the Marvels flop. Tons of people didn't know who Miss Marvel and Monica Rambeau are. I didn't either. And a lot of people left Disney+, Plus because they raised the price. And by a lot of people, I mean millions. Disney needs to make each movie be better than the previous one, because the audience has large expectations. Lately, they are pushing so much content with strict deadlines that the CGI looks like a horror show. There is so much things and new characters in the MCU that I don't understand what's happening. It's so confusing. Even the creators don't know what's happening. It started to become more like a homework than entertainment. If you missed one series, you could be in a position that you don't know what's happening in a major release that year. Disney doubled down on Marvel instead of expanding new franchises. But is there a chance to get back? Well, as I said, Bob Iger told the news that they went to woke and also that they relied too much on Star Wars and Marvel. In the coming years, they will invest in new franchises to rekindle the audience's interest. They relied on Kang to be their new villain, but because of some problems, they fired the actor and decided to go in a new direction. In 2024, they plan to release Deadpool 3, whose previous movies were massive hits. Marvel plans four movies in 2025. New Captain America, Fantastic Four, Thunderbolts and Blade. A year after that, in 2026, they plan to release two Avengers movies and three more unannounced movies. Look, Disney made its money back. It is estimated that the acquisition and production of the movies cost Disney around $10 billion. The Marvel franchise made $29.8 billion in box office. Yes, there are still distribution and marketing costs. But don't forget that Disney is a merchandise machine that made millions selling Marvel's intellectual property. Also, subscribe for more videos like this.